wasn't ideal, um, but we are better for it. Eva wrapped up immediately by a big tackle from Bodie, and umpire determines that it's holding the ball. Davidson leads, that's ignored. It's going deep, it's going in the Wardlaw direction. At the back, had the sit, couldn't quite claim it. But this might be an opening goal, coming up it is. And Spark puts the opening goal on the ball. Boundary throw in, there is Keith. At the fall of the ball, quick hands from Zarika. Then Eva, tackled straight away by Spark, who's made a big start to this game. Pretty congested forward 50. Good target though from Wardlaw in front. Look at the hands! Hard to defend that. Wardlaw for her first major of the day. Uses the breeze perfectly. Jessie Wardlaw off the board. She loves it. Lines though will repel straight away. Hustles wait. Oh, wrapped up straight away. It's a great tackle as well by Brick Tully, who's rewarded for holding the ball. Keith standing on the last line of defence. Tully gives it a roost from 45 metres. Will go right to the line as well. And in front, superbly plucked by the contested Mark Queen last week in Privatelli. Allen went up uncontested and the Ruck couldn't find a teammate. Anderson centres it to Luckins. Who got a kind bounce, doesn't kick a lot of goals, Kate Luckins, but she's one of the best players in the competition. She doesn't kick it like a defender this time. She puts it right through the middle, the star for the Lions. Coming through, big tackle from Keith, but unfortunately it's a tad too high for the Lions. So Steen is paid the free kick advantage. Oh, Barclay dropped the mark. Schmidt with the outside of the boot is a goal. Lions playing touch, but Schmidt gets the goal for the Giants. Kick came out, Zarika gets it inboard to Listar, who was just brought down at the wrong time. Rianne Lug is rewarded with the free kick. Let's see what this happens here. She's able to put this one through. It looks a little to the right. Davidson is there, but really strong mark from the fullback, Hetherington on the last line of defence. Definitely gets a lot of attention, but this is probably the most physical that it's been. So Giants teammates need to be aware of this and really look after it. Anderson centres it. Wardlaw in front. Didn't get a great bounce. Wushner did. Sweeps it into the goal square. Davidson lurking dangerously as is Puzzled Weight. And the young gun able to get her first ever AFLW goal. Yeah, I reckon Elise Parker probably just needs to get involved by handball receives. She can block and help her teammates. Um, she doesn't have to feel like she can, has to change the game in, in two minutes. Oh, at the same time, goal. that is a super goal. Spark doing it offensively this time. Bad kick though for Hetherington. Allows the Lions a sniff here. And that is a superb tackle as well. An authority tackle from the Brisbane Lions. And Spark, who's played the game of her life so far, is rewarded. She's got another opportunity here, looking into the sun at Hickey Park. That doesn't matter. Hits Yvonne Bonner on the chest and a rare opportunity in this second half for the Giants. Kicked six goals last year for the Giants, yet to kick a goal so far this season. But she's on the board. Yvonne Bonner with her first goal of 2020 for GWS. Goes back to Conway. She's also a good snap. Gets free to Dawes. The young gun wrapped up by Eva. And that's one play you don't want to be wrapped up by in Alicia Eva. And here are those numbers. They're just moving in waves. You know, there's only a minute or two left. Ten seconds, actually, left of the quarter. And they're still not giving up. It might be sweet if Kathy Spark, with three bounces, goes towards the top of the goal square, it falls short. But she has played a super game. And the Brisbane Lions have produced a super win.